It's a new episode of Real Talk. My name is Nicole Asinogo, and I'm at the beautiful Sal Cafe in Lecky, here to have a very juicy conversation. Today on Real Talk, we have three on-air personalities, Valentine Ohu of Inspiration FM, Adenike Oyetunde of Nigerian Info, and Shola Thompson from Smooth FM. Hello. Hello. Hi guys. Hi. How's it going? Good. Nice to see you guys. Same here. Okay, so today the topic is entitlement or unrealistic expectations. Huh. I see. Mm -hmm. So when you are in a relationship or you're dating, do you agree that it's okay to have standards or some kind of expectations? Yes. Yeah? You should. Yes, sure. <laughs> Why did you? Well, okay. we're, about to, we're about to go in. Okay. So, okay, yeah. but where do you draw the line between entitlement and unrealistic expectation? Hmm. I feel like they should be discussed to be realistic. Okay. You have to be rational okay. about that. So you're saying like, you should have a conversation before so everybody knows where they stand? Yeah, and you should be ready to start with a clean slate with anyone. Okay. I think entitlement would probably mean we don't need to discuss that. Mm -hmm. That is something that's expected of expected, a relationship. Expected, exactly. Without mm. having any kind of right to it. You kind of exactly, just it's, it's expected should, like exactly. this. Exactly. Yes, you thank can you. have unrealistic expectations like of the kind of guy that you want, for instance. So you can say, oh, you know, I want a guy who has a certain financial background or I want a guy who you know flies only business class mm -hmm. you know what are you bringing to the table what are you bringing to the honestly, table honestly because I, mm -hmm. I I remember watching Juma Kiyadino a few days ago I should have you need that has to be mm -hmm. something that you're owning mm -hmm. if you desire and demand that certain things come to you mm -hmm. so if awesome. you I, that's what okay. I think and it's a thin line some people expect that who, who defines mm -hmm. what I mean, expectations become unrealistic because it becomes very subjective. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we're talking about people who make outlandish demands, people whose dreams are just out, out of this world. But can you say that women will expect as much as they want, as long as there are men that are willing to fulfill these expectations? Yeah. Yes, those guys obviously are the ones to blame for all the expectations. The ones that <laughs> that fly her off to <laughs> this. Why? Those guys are the ones to blame but for he can afford it. So expectations. Really? There's no... There's okay, so what's now the... It's realistic. The it's he realistic can. Um, he can. There's... He can. There are a certain type of... Uh, of uh, a certain type of men mm -hmm. who would say, guess what, you know, I want to be the one to take care of all the bills yes. and so on. And then, you know, I wouldn't want her to contribute to, and so on. But okay. the issue with that is the fact that it's 2017. Things mm -hmm. have changed. Mm -hmm. So okay. I feel, uh, hey, we're talking about uh, equality, mm -hmm. you know, gender equality. You know, I'm all for that. I have a daughter. So obviously I want her to grow up in a world where she's able to see, you know, mm -hmm. the same yeah. type of privileges mm -hmm. and opportunities. Mm -hmm. But then you can't eat your cake and have it. Because you can get, you can want the gender equality and want us to be all nice and equal, which is supposed to be, and then you can't now expect him to pay. He's paying all, he's paying everything, he's handling everything. So that's double. That gender equality thing is. He said what? Is what is this? Isn't it exactly what you think it does? Okay, so what does it mean? I mean, you're interpreting it right now to mean that way. Everybody should be equal and share responsibilities equally. Nah, that just applies on paper. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't work in the real world. I was gonna ask. I mean, have you guys heard of social media? Yes. Yeah. So what is social media? That just trumps to? everything yeah. we've been saying. I mean, you see on social media guys show off. Yes. Yeah. Do they have those things they're showing off? No. So you think social media feeds unrealistic expectations? Exactly. Yeah, say, yeah basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get, I get you completely. Huh. Saying that uh, a lot, a lot of people are claiming, oh yeah, you know, gender equality. Yeah, we're all mm -hmm. for it, but all they are doing is all face value. There's nothing. Yeah, it doesn't go deeper I mean, than that. It's a campaign, and it ends there. We have all agreed that you have to determine by yourself what you want to take from social media. Mm -hmm. So if there's a guy on social media. Who's been high, eyeing this before I say hi now? <laughs> who's been eyeing this lady? And he has these lofty dreams and ideas and everything. He invites her for a lunch. He, did it. he has the expectations and then boom, they start, they start to interact and he's wondering, okay, this isn't so right. Who do we blame? Do we blame the girl who probably, this is the life, she's not she's, good. She's she hasn't living. gone all out to putting a different person from who she is in reality. Mm -hmm. But he's the one who has seen something, mm -hmm. liked it, mm -hmm. fed his, mm -hmm. his mind on it, yeah. wanted it, mm -hmm. has met her now and is wondering, well, maybe it's just a push-up bra. She's not actually that bossy. So what do we do? Yeah, it's yeah. possible that he's yeah. trying to impress her. 
I mean, if you're if you're in my shoes, oh, I didn't think I was gonna say this, but <laughs> my shoes a couple of months back where somebody would read you a riot act, pretty much. What's a riot act? Please. Okay, for instance, somebody okay. says indirectly, these are the things I like. These are the things I expect every man to do. So mm-hmm. already okay. riot act. No, no, he's saying. So because okay. <laughs> if she don't did, get, don't you better not be with her. Right now. <laughs> so you what the idea, riot act? You just want to wait now. Come to You just want the girl want to, to be happy, right? You do, you do. do. You? If you let no, her well, have her way, she's that's gonna the have problem. It so, 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 so what is this? Is, so this is this you is this is what I want something to, I want to keep up with. You be realistic, right? Oh, okay. But something You're I want to point hard, out right? is this. This is a mistake. A man who finds the wife finds a good thing, right? Mm-hmm. And obtains what favor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's this all oh, this is faith, blind faith. Oh yeah, eventually when we get married, things are gonna get better. Well, that's this is something that this is something that a lot of us do. What? What? This is something a lot of us guys do wrong. Yes, we. We build that on realistic expectation from the beginning, okay. from from the first date to the second date to the third date. Mm-hmm. If the first date, mm-hmm. I'm picking, <laughs> picking you up with a limo. The second date uh, is a win, is a helicopter ride. ride. <laughs> the third date yeah. is a boat cruise, yeah. and on the fourth date yeah. it's NASA. <laughs> oh, What's yeah. going to happen <laughs> is yeah. that's what she expects. That's yeah. exactly. Yes, exactly. This is you what I can do. Really you set the bar really high. Yeah. I'm not saying maybe on the first date you take her to. Uh, to book her down the road. What's wrong with taking a girl to a booker on a first date? Help me out. It's, it's to help with the expectation. Well, well, see, the thing is, mm-hmm. it's, it, you, you just don't want to come off as. Guy, yeah, you want to fall your hand. Excuse me, excuse me. You, 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 you don't want to come off as, oh man, I'm cheap. No, just it should be between. If you can find a middle place between the booker and a, res- a restaurant. What if the food at the booker is really, really, really good? Sure. Let's well, say the, the food is it's the best jollof rice in town. Second date. Second date. Second date. Why yeah. do you think that? Well, let me give you an example, like chivalry, for example, like opening the door yeah. for her. Okay. Yeah, that's you get, that's first. That's all first date material. Wow. So okay. after that, that that's after. second date. Then you're like, yo, this is me. First date, it has to be. It's like the honeymoon. Well, then you're yeah. setting the stage. So the next time you go on a date with her, yes. she's gonna be like. You know, Why don't you, you open, open the, the door, door for, for me? me? Look, it's like the first day, it's like the first time I'm seeing you, for example. Mm-hmm. If maybe I wanted to impress you, I'd be like, I wouldn't tell you my whole story. I, I would hold some things back. back. Like, let's say I came from a court case. It's the first date. I'll hold that back. I won't tell you, yo, I was just in court. <laughs> no, I'll hold, I can tell you maybe second date or third date. Because the first, first impression matters. You second have, dates, you haven't met girls who judge you based on that. Like, the first they'll tell you, don't start where you can't finish. But you want to give it a chance before you show but your But don't you think that this not showing your real self the first time sets unrealistic expectations so I think her. the first time it's you have a one-off you, you should have a one-off I mean, first I, 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 I you, should, like, you shouldn't expect even the guys as well with the unrealistic expectations mm-hmm. When you see her the first time like how she's at when she acts the first time the way she acts the first time mm-hmm. you shouldn't base who she is on that at all because nobody first date is first, first date time. is let's see what what's what what the what the plastic looks like mm-hmm. and then the second date you can take it so that brings me to my next question why or do you think guys feel entitled after a date you spent maybe you took a girl to a very expensive restaurant mm-hmm. do you feel entitled to get something from her either her love or her affection or even oh, sex peace. yo dude even <laughs> this is something i've noticed uh, well, there may be a few girls are different, but a majority of the girls do yeah. not do it like we see in Hollywood, <laughs> mm-hmm. where you have a situation where it's like, mm, the moment is right, and then you guys kiss. Mm-hmm. It is unfortunate. I don't want to say maybe it was just like Nigerian <laughs> girls, but I noticed <laughs> that a lot. I noticed, you know, when you guys are when you guys are chilling, you wait for the moment, mm-hmm. and then you know it's the right it time. It will seem awkward, but it you doesn't. Have to wait. It Shall doesn't. It, trust me. It's not that you. obvious. No. No, no, no. I'm saying it's, that that's the problem. It's so it's kind of you almost have to ask. You almost have to ask. Like, is there a problem? So it's the fifth date. We should kiss today. Is there a problem with asking? It's why, why? It's no, it's, to ask. It's oh, can I no. kiss you? It's awkward. You're gonna sit late. Nigerian girls do not have to have, 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 have to get that mood. Oh, I think this that's is the right generalization. Okay, let me say you know, you know, seventy-five you know, you know, you know percent messing this up, I'm and the remaining fifteen percent are bisexual. What? No, you didn't say so. A lot of women feel that guys should treat them that way and should cater to their every need. A good boyfriend does that. Yes, you know, should be treated like a queen. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> See, but uh, this is this is this is what happens yeah. eventually. This is what always happens. Um, I feel when that when that is the case, then to a certain extent, 
the sense of ownership mm -hmm. starts to rise. Yes. Okay. Do you feel that then that sense of ownership will lead you to feel entitled for her to cook for you or feel entitled to certain things? Mm. I just feel if you're going to go ahead and just make sure, oh man, yeah, she's so special and you're putting all the attention and all the love and all the caring and you're focusing all your power on her, you should expect almost the same thing. Back. Not exactly the same thing, but almost the same attention. Okay, that's the entitlement though. <sighs> because but, it, can, so, it can come so, back to so, bite so, you in yes. the... Yeah. So guess what you should do? It will. Well, you should have like, like, like a queen, a good queen. Why like, do we always think like, like a... Like a, like a, you know, like a... Oh, the discount. Nice. Nika, thank you. Discount queen. Nika, thank you very much. Listen, listen. Why do we always feel like when we love on people, they have to reciprocate? It's a mistake most people make. Yes. What do you think about guys who like expect the girl to clean? Like at odd hours or to cook Shall when she comes back from work. Ah, get it made. That's something else completely. Get it made. Okay, let me tell you, I've heard, I've heard some ladies say, oh wow, your apartment looks unkempt. You should get a girlfriend. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Mm. We've heard I think I'd be guilty of saying oh, that. Yeah, you know, wow, you should get a girlfriend. So it's, it's, it's a it's mindset mentality. that some of them do have. Mm -hmm. That, you know, that's what they're supposed to But Chicken. I think that is changing. Honestly speaking, mm -hmm. that's... You can give me a street filled with dirty dishes. Just mm -hmm. give me running water. Mm -hmm. I will do the dishes. What if you okay, I will do the dishes. Yes, please. So you know he said about first dates, how you're not really being yourself, yes. right? So what there are a lot of what? people who enter relationships. For instance, you, this is the first time you're sleeping over in the guy's house and they are dirty dishes. You you clean the dishes oh, so it looks now? like you had home training. Uh, for <laughs> yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't happen anymore. Now, so that doesn't happen me. anymore. It'll most likely happen <laughs> if the guy's mom is around. No, the you guy are impressing impression. Exactly. No, the guy is trying to impress him. Impression. The guy is trying to impress false him. Impression. False impression. False impression. But you did a false impression by taking her on the first day and opening the door. Ah. If the woman expects you to pick up the rent and pay the majority of the bills, what would you say to that? We should have a discussion what about that. Why did we talk about it? We should rationalize it. <laughs> so you talk about it and she says no. Um, you should pay. You're the <laughs> well, caretaker. Yeah, 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 no, 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 but, but that's an expectation. You're the man, the, if the I'm provider. Man, if I'm the man, you provide. She needs to write me an email. <laughs> Do a week, email. Do your before hush. she goes out. Okay. She needs to write me an email mm -hmm. to let me know mm -hmm. who she's planning to have drinks with, as far as who her friends will be there. My point here is, if she wants me to go ahead and take care of the bills, <laughs> like I own her, I own her. <laughs> okay. Okay. We, look, so you we, are. We so so her expectation of you feeds your entitlement. Straight up. We decided to take real talk to the streets. You want to you bankrupt the guy? What if you you, you are dating someone that does not have uh, such privileges? You know, you know to buy you such things. The basic thing of every relationship should be love. Should be friendship. Should be. It should not be about buying you Brazilian wig and all that. Even me, as a person, I respect ladies that you know can buy those things for themselves. Uh, women are the ones that are most um, likely to be pampered by men, so it's um, okay for the guy to give gifts once in a while. It's not actually ideal for a girl, for a woman to be cooking for her boyfriend because you're not so sure if you're going to end up with him or not. So all the stress. If you are even looking at taking that relationship to the next level, then you should be prepared for anything. What if he's looking out for those things in you and he doesn't see them and he switches to maybe your friend and he sees them coming around with you and they can do those things. There are some people that they cannot just stay without, they can't stay seen somewhere dirty. They must just clean it up. There are some people that they cannot come and see a place tattered. They must arrange. So if he sees someone like that, he feels comfortable automatically. Now if you feel you're not cool with that, you are written off. Here's mine, okay? It makes me happy when I see my lady happy. Wow. Like, mm -hmm. I, I like the fact that, okay, you, you'll be provided for within my means. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I provide all those things. But when it starts feeling awkward is when I see her splurging on excessive things that she does not need. Okay, we have need for fuel for the generator. Mm -hmm. I'm actually looking for the next job to come, the next contract to click and everything, That's just so cool. to fuel the gen. And then you see her with a Louboutin shoe, and I didn't buy that for her. Wow. You get me? She has a sponsor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 no, that's her main job. Valentine, that's, really mm -hmm. well, that's mm -hmm. a bitch. It becomes arbitrary. It becomes a situation when, okay, when she feels like she should help out is when she will. Oh, yeah. So mm -hmm. that, that is why it is necessary to have a discussion, discussion about how, who sorts out what. 
this is you know, this shall is, this is shall, shall some, people, some people feel very uncomfortable talking about money. The moment, the moment you start, no, 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 I have friends like that who say when it comes to when, when it comes to when it comes to money and budget and planning, they don't, they want to run away. Is it safe to say that parents can influence that feeling of entitlement? Yes, mm. very yes. well. They're they're responsible consciously about consciously. maybe consciously. Now, in the unconscious parts, ironically, actually, see, there's an interesting twist to this. I have <laughs> a very dear friend okay. whose dad is not in a relationship, is not is, is an absentee dad. Okay. okay. So because of that, that has left a dent in her life mm -hmm. and trust and whatever for men. Mm. So every time a guy comes along, mm. there's always this expectation that you from should him. not be dad. You should not be my dad. Mm. So when she sees the slightest street, she so it took uh, took a while, but eventually she had, like you said, she mm. had to hit a point where she said, "Okay, you know what? I need to slow down. This is not my father. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. My daddy's mistakes should not be put on this guy. He mm -hmm. shouldn't bear the responsibilities for all those things. So this is a different human being. So, so it has to be it? parents responsible for about let's say sixty percent, and we social media responsible for about. Can we leave social media? Social media only pushes our words on the inside. Okay, let's say TV, social media, all that twenty-five percent. So that's seventy. No, no, because parents like a huge chunk, like ten percent, twenty-five. No. Right. On, one, on one hand, how many people have actually still are still le leaving the legacies left by their parents now? We, 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 we're fighting but we're fighting it. But fifteen percent is we're fighting the delusional ones. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. that's how it, that's how yeah. I feel. I think that's that's like. I think we should own up to the response. We should own up, and I think the one thing that this generation has failed to is consequences. Mm. We always it's always everybody but us. Yes. Mm. What about the entitlement mentality in itself? <gasps> so like entitlement from you know a stranger that demands maybe respect. Maybe they, you want somebody to call you auntie or you want Why? somebody to know, you know yeah. that kind of thing. Like yeah. what would you say about that? Because we live in a very entitled African society. culture Af is, is we claim to be so respectful, but the reality is you your respect is earned. Mm. I can call you auntie. <laughs> so what essence is having respect right before you and then behind there, you? There's a saying that goes, a typical African man can survive on respect without yes. any food for three months. He will, he's there. The family member who is in somewhere, because you are in Lagos, believes that, ah, Auntie Miyafa, eh, uh, I'm on my fellow school, sorry, I have to speak. <laughs> <laughs> believes that you have everything and they're hounding you. Uh -huh. And there's this entitlement culture, there's this entitlement that comes with mm. it. But I, I think the main thing, I think if I can just recap everything that we've said, is that everyone has a little bit of entitlement. So you always have to just look within and, and check inject. yourself. If you see yourself if feeling entitled, if it's unrealistic, mm -hmm. you need to just set and normal expectations. Nobody owes you anything. Nobody owes you anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nobody, nobody owes you anything. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. This was so much Very fun. Pleasant. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the conversation, please join us by following us on social media at Indani TV and subscribe to our YouTube channel.